Oh, stop making that surprised face. It is so annoying. Yeah, you can't possibly be that surprised all the time. What's with that bitch? Don't call me that. <laughs> you guys. Oh, stop acting like you're so nice. You are so fake. <laughs> there she goes, playing the victim again. What are you doing? Getting receipts. Gonna edit this later. I would very much like to be excluded from this narrative. Shut, Shut up! It's good! I'm back again with another video, and this time it's a Halloween collab. Roxette, Spinky, Madison, Amber, and I all recreated characters from Taylor Swift's Look What You Made Me Do music video, so be sure to check out their tutorials right after you watch this one. I chose to do the car crash paparazzi character, and I'm also gonna show you how to create this fake bang situation with my own hair. This hairstyle is much more accurate to the music video, it was just difficult to recreate the high ponytail with the wig, you know what I'm saying? So let's start off with the primer. All the products that I'm using in this video will be listed in the description box down below. Next, I'm using my Makeup Forever foundation with my e.l.f. swirly brush. The wig that I wore in this intro made me break out like crazy. Apparently you're supposed to wash synthetic wigs before you use them, but I ain't do all that. So I just love the medium coverage that this foundation gives me because I like that you can still see my skin and like the little imperfections underneath. Next up is concealer, and I'm just making little triangles under my eyes to brighten the area, and I'm gonna press and roll with a beauty blender to blend that out. Next, I'm gonna set with my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, cause I'm oily AF. Then I'm gonna prime the eyes to correct some discoloration and prep the lids for some shadows. Okay, this is the most important step of any makeup look. Eyebrows. You just, you just gotta do them. When your brows looking good, you looking good. And when your brows looking trash, sweetie, you looking trash. If you want to see my full eyebrow routine, just let me know in the comments. Fairs. Now it's time to shadow the eyes. In this Morphe palette, I'm gonna take this peachy brown transitional shade and work it into my crease. I have hooded eyes, so I want to create the illusion of more lid space. Then I'm gonna take this Smashbox palette. Look at this packaging. Wow. Using this shimmery plum color, I'm going to use a fluffy blending brush to work that into the outer V and then blend it inwards. We're trying to go for a hazy eye instead of a smoky eye. I just think that hazy eyes look a bit more editorial. Back to the Morphe palette, I'm taking this warm toned brown shade and darkening the outer corners, and I'm gonna blend that all together once again. Next is this like shimmery, fiery blood orange color. So pretty. I'm packing that onto the lid with a, this is actually a concealer brush, so I'm just applying that. Then I'm gonna take the color right next to it, which is this super shimmery rose gold kind of color. And once you apply it, it actually looks like foil, but it's not. It's so pretty. Then you blend out all those harsh edges. It got really hot out of nowhere. And then I'm gonna take that plum color from the Smashbox palette and work it into the bottom lash line and this just really completes that hazy look. Uh, yes. Okay, so I don't remember which lashes I used for the intro, but I hated them, so that doesn't even matter. Instead, I'm using the Ardell 603 Wispies. I'm obsessed with these, Roxette gave these to me. I think if I use them again, I'll probably trim them because they're a little too long for my eyeballs. Oh lighting change. But yeah, I love the way that these look on my hooded eyes. A little dance break, necessary. I think I was seeing wild thoughts. Since these lashes had gaps in the band, I'm just filling them in with a black liquid liner. Uh, this is the phys Physician's Formula Liner. I love this stuff. Time to contour, so I'm gonna contour my nose. If you're going to a Halloween party at night or you're taking lots of pics, you can go a little heavy handed with this contour so it'll actually be seen in the dark and in photos and stuff, Nami. 
And I always blend this out with a tapered fluffy blending brush. And with that same contour shade, I'm contouring my cheeks and blending upwards towards my temples. Just to give me that extra definition. Next is the blushes. I'm going to take this blush color in the center here and apply it to the apples of my cheeks. This color is so pretty and complements my skin tone so well. I love it. Now to highlight. So in my Anastasia Glow Kit, I'm taking that bronze color. If you're tan or brown, this color is the way to go, sisters. And I like making a C shape up towards my brow bone. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Thoughts. <laughs> Get it? And then I always take some highlighter on the tip of my nose. Now for the most important part of this look, the lips. This is a fuchsia color, but on camera it looks super red for some reason, but I swear it's like fuchsia. <laughs> uh, this is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Baka. Baka in Japanese is not a nice word, so this lipstick name must have like Italian influence or something. And that is the makeup look. Wearable even not on Halloween. If you're going to wear the sunglasses that Taylor has, then perhaps the eyes won't even matter that much, but the option is definitely there. Okay, so the hair is actually not as difficult as it looks complicated. You wanna make sure that the ends of your hair are completely straight because they're going to be your bangs. So comb the front of your hair forward, then use a comb to section off the fake bangs in a triangle shape. When you get bangs like this, they usually cut it like in a triangle, so we're gonna try to mimic the process as much as possible. Once you have that, tie it up and save it for later. Put the rest of your hair into a sleek high ponytail. After that, take your fake bangs out, then comb them backward. Smooth it back until you reach your ponytail, then flip it forward over your finger. Twist the end piece once, then secure it on top of your head with bobby pins. You'll notice that there's a little loop in the back and we're gonna fix that. Taylor Swift's hair actually looked like this anyway, so grab a small section of hair at the bottom of your ponytail, then wrap it around the loop and the ponytail, and just keep wrapping it around and secure it with bobby pins. Et voila! If your hair is shorter than mine, then this process will definitely be way easier to do. On to the outfit, this dress is nearly identical to the one she wore in the video, it just has a different neckline. So this dress is from Forever 21, this jacket is actually my mom's, but you could honestly probably thrift something like this pretty easily. All of my jewelry is from Aldo, all of it. I'll try to find them and link them down below, but my favorite is the ear. In this video, she had a double helix piercing, but since I don't have that, I found this ear cuff from Aldo, and it has like two hoops, so it gives the illusion of two piercings. Also, I found this snake earring, and serpents were a huge theme in that music video, so I just thought it was very appropriate. And that's the look! Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to check out everyone else's videos as well. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys next time.